what's up Akio Kodeshans, you are all welcome to this new video tutorial. So in the video today, we are going to talk about the best emulator you should use on your potato PC for the year 2021. So the, video, the emulator in this video actually allows you to use any game on your emulator. For example, you can be able to play Gerona Free Fire, Perk Mobile on this emulator. And this emulator will run on a 0 megabyte dedicated memory, 32 megabyte dedicated 64 and above. And this, post, and this emulator also run on a 32 bit system both as 64 dual core processor, even the Pink Team 4. So, the emulator we're going to be looking at today is the Leap Droid. So, see you next after the video introduction. Let us dive into the video. So before starting the video, I want to take this time to actually thank you all for making Aki for Deck 4,500 subscribers and for making us 500 views on our YouTube channel. So the real power is actually you watching this video. So I did a recent video I was actually talking about one of the top three low end emulators to use on your PC for 2021, and in the first place, we actually had LibDroid. So one of our fans actually commented me to do a video on LibDroid. So I'm doing this video dedicated on that comment that can be highlighted on the screen by my left so the lip droid we're going to be looking at today is already installed on my device so you can see lip droid so i'm going to talk about lip droid which is for on my own point of view is the best low-end emulator you ever have on your potato pc for the year 2021 so i'm going to go around about lip droid we're going to be looking at its features what make it special and what actually make it different from other low-end emulators so you can see here is the user interface of LibDroid. Oops, I will reduce the screen. So user interface of LibDroid. So it actually has from the when you enter, you actually see that the user interface is pretty dope. So you can see all well, the clash of clans that can be installed. In the first look, let us talk the system specs. The system specs to run this LibDroid, you actually need a dual core processor, a Pentium 4 minimum Pentium 4 processor, or a dual core running either 32 or 64 bit. With a dedicated memory as a set of 0 megabyte or 3264. So a 0 megabyte graphic is actually going to run this one. Integrated graphic of 0 or 32 megabytes is going to run this emulator with no problem. So another thing making it good on this emulator is that this emulator actually supports Gerana Free Fire. So if you go on Play Store, you can actually install Gerana Free Fire on this emulator. Now let us talk about the specs. So if you want to actually look about the settings, emulator is run on Android version of 4. 4.4 so yes 4.4.4 .4 so yeah the android version run by this lib droid and it will put it run on any computer of your choice you'll be able to play one of your best games online on this simulator now talking about the system spec the computer actually it doesn't use as much as other simulators so this computer will run on a one gigabyte of ram so you must not need the processor support visualization so if your processor support visualization will be a so it will be a boost for you, but if your processor doesn't support it, it will still go with it. So you, you don't even need transition for to run this lip droid. But if, if your processor actually support it, then it will be one point again for you. So talking about the spec as I said, is you use a one, one gigabyte of RAM for this emulator. The space required is only three gigabyte of your, of your hard disk drive. And for the graphic card as I said, zero MB. 32 will be enough for this graphic card so it is very very awesome so you can see everything on this android emulator is pretty easy so you don't need to work notice so you can see you can add the key mapping so if you go on you can see in every key mapping when you're actually playing your game so this emulator actually offers you a great advantage to other emulators now you can see these emulators can also be opened in two instances so you can see we have libdroid bm1 libdroid bm2 so you can open libdroid bm2 this simultaneously with is true that when running these two instances as normal is going to use more resources on your computer so actually right now if you check at my computer the ram use if you check at libdroid so you can see the first version of libdroid only uses 162 megabytes of ram and the second actually use 162 3 megabyte of ram so you can see that this emulator will run on a 2 gigabyte even 1 gigabyte of ram without any problem we can see we have 151 megabyte in use and we have 163 megabyte in use so you can see how this thing is pretty pretty dope so i'm able to use two instances of this application simultaneously on one this is, so you can see the first instance i have here have my browser blind as i'm trying to get into the google play store so this double instance actually offers an advantage if you are somebody is playing 
a game actually want to do something else on your computer so libdroid automatically get configured depending on your computer so there's there's no section that you have to set things so that actually what is actually good so you adapt with your system once you install libdroid on your machine it's going to adapt automatically with the system you're using so you can see if you check here there's nothing as allowing you the possibility to actually set things complete other methods so you can take a screen capture volume here yeah, actually to off yeah to toggle on off and toggle on that is that and this libdroid actually requires opengl 1.1 so the lowest version of opengl which actually supported by the lowest version of graphic card so give me an advantage so the video i did one year ago that actually went up to 52 000 views i was talking about another emulator that was actually good so that emulator actually had a restriction since i actually saw that you guys were asking for emulator that is able to run the game runner free fire and perk mobile so the emulator that i was talking in that video i think um that emulator was what was that name again um what was that emulator ah, if i please have my jubilee my what have i forgotten that so i was talking about i'll put the name at uh, your right i'll put the name on your right so that is i'll put the name on my right <laughs> i'll put that name there so the emulator that i actually did on that video it had, it had a certain restriction most of you actually had difficulties in installing application so from here it's very easy you can see we can have the on play store you actually install directly application into your library which is pretty pretty dope so you don't need any restriction for that and for this piece it actually depends on where you have installed your library so my library is actually installed if i go to, uh, to open file location my library has been installed on my dx actually offers me so you can see install on my dx c on my dx c actually has space so you don't need to set any space as i said it actually configures itself automatically at as when you actually install it it will configure itself automatically so i think i'm going to end at this level as i said if you have any question as usual if you have any question i'm going to point it out in the comment section and please i'm at the beginning of any videos from now i'm going to be reading out the top most comment in our videos so thank you family thank you for your support thank you for actually your caring love because if it was not of you i don't think we could have made 4500 so the next milestone is 5000 subscribers and we actually hope to do this in less than two months and our next milestone for the views is actually 600,000 views so that is that i am fabrice as usual your yeah, tech instructor if you want to actually get in contact with me you can use the our email is actuallycodec.gmail and for any video request drop it in the comment section i'm going to get very fast to that so bye and i'll present you in my next video tutorial